Hey guys, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. I'm Charles from Gibby's Electronic Supermarket, and today we're going to be talking about Dolby Atmos. Now, first thing you're going to be asking yourself is, what is it? That's why you came here. Well, Dolby Atmos is pretty much a new audio format. Well, not new, but it's definitely becoming more and more popular now. With Adobe Atmos, what you're gonna be getting is a little bit more of an immersive audio environment. So if you're watching your favorite movie or whatever it may be, and you see, let's say, a plane go overhead, you're gonna be able to hear that plane above you. How does all this work? It's pretty simple. For a long time now, audio has been strictly 2D, meaning you know, you've got your left channel, your right channel, and your center channel, and then you've got your two surrounds maybe, but all that is all being played on the same plane. Can't you just take the same audio that's coming out of the center, left, and right speakers and put them above you and you got Dolby Atmos? Mm, doesn't work that way exactly. What your Dolby Atmos enabled speakers are gonna do is take information from your receiver that supports Dolby Atmos and it's gonna split all the information that's coming from the source of the audio. So whether it be your Blu-ray player or any other source, it's gonna take all that information and just filter out sounds that are above you and send them to your Dolby Atmos speakers. Here's a quick tip. When you're setting up your Dolby Atmos enabled receiver, there's typically a tuning or some sort of tool that you can use to kind of change and adjust the immersive audio system that you're gonna be implementing. So the best thing to do there is to use that so that you get the best Dolby Atmos experience. There are basically two main types. There's a couple more out there, but your main types are your downward firing and upward firing. Downward firing, pretty straightforward. They're in-ceiling speakers that fire the sound downwards above your head so that you can hear anything that's going above eye line from up there. Now, upward facings are a little different. With the upward firing speakers, what it's basically doing is it's projecting the sound from wherever it is, hitting your ceiling and coming back down to where you're sitting. So it's kind of using that ceiling as a deflection and getting the sound to you in a different manner. What you're gonna be getting with your Dolby Atmos enabled speakers and receivers is a completely immersive audio experience. That's 3D sound not just from the front and the back, but from above you as well. If you learned something new in this video, why not give us a like? Maybe hit the subscribe and the bell, or just let us know down in the comment section below what you want to learn about next. And until next time, guys, take it easy. Nos. Other than Nos, Biggie, Pac, Eminem, Lil Wayne. <laughs> That's all I was, I was going to name all of them. <laughs>